welcome to second installment of, of chapter one of the book that I'm reviewing, uh, Believer's Authority by let Reverend Kenneth E. E, 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 Kenneth E. Higgin, um, the Legacy Edition. Like I said, I read this book first in 2022, and this is my second time around. So I was, because of the 10 minutes max of um, doing on this platform, so I did not conclude. This is the concluding part of chapter one. So you need to go back to the last video that i posted that's the beginning of chapter where i i was talking about in, you know um praying the word of god and that's what this book actually it leads you it it if you do it well it helps to grow your prayer life because the book is basically like i say based on efficiency majority of it is based on the word of god and praying it and that Papa Higgin was you know talking about how his life changed just praying the scripture directly opening the scripture for six months and going over it meditating upon it and this chapter I, I let me read a little bit here as I round up this um, um my intent is to round up this chapter this is chapter one it says we must have this spirit of wisdom and revelation of Christ and his word if we're to grow. And if I recall, my father in the Lord, Reverend Shola Babala, always, you know, say this is a prayer. This this is Ephesians chapter 1 verse um, 16 and 17. He always said this is a prayer every believer must keep praying until we see Jesus. And I agree. So say people often, the, here says it is going to be imparted to us through our intellect it says we must have the spirit of wisdom and revelation of christ and his word if we are to grow it is not going to be imparted to us through our intellect either the holy spirit must unveil it to us people often want to know how to pray for fellow christians if you start praying these efficient prayers for them you're wondering how can i pray for somebody if you don't know, have anybody to pray, pray for me. Pray for me this efficient. Pray the book of Ephesians for me, okay? Um, if you start praying these efficient prayers for them, you will see results in their lives. So I pray for myself, spirit of wisdom and revelation. I pray for my children. I pray for, as you know, whoever the Lord, there are systemic, systematic prayer and there are sporadic prayers. There are structural prayers. So I guess if she said, um, I suggest you pray the prayers for yourself too. Okay. Years ago, say I prayed these prayers twice a day, morning and evening for a family member. He needed healing desperately, yet he couldn't seem to grasp what the Bible teaches about divine healing. So he engaged in intercessory prayer for the family member. Um, the, the, on, on if on the on page five of the book it talks it, the first thing you see here is Ephesians six twelve for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in the high places and I wrote here and these powers will not willingly surrender their hold on individuals and I and I. And I wrote here, Isaiah 49, 24, 20, 24 to 26. Can the lawful, you know, be, can, you can go look for it. I'm not going to. So he said, thank God now we have authority over such spirits through Jesus Christ. That's the emphasis. That's why the name of the book is Believer's Authority. Say so we need to understand what Paul said here in the light of what he wrote in previous chapters. Yes, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against against rulers of the darkness of this, against spiritual weakness. There. However, now he said we need to realize that we have authority. You and I 
child of God. We have authority, genuine, born again, walking in the Lord by the Spirit. We have authority through Christ. Our compact with the devil always should be with consciousness that we have authority over him. He's a defeated foe. He will keep making noise. Remember Jesus said in John 10, 10, A, the thief cometh not to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come, the B part of it, that you may have life abundantly. So Baba is reminding us here, remember, say, we must, you and I, always should be with the consciousness that we have authority over the devil, over him, because he's a defeated foe. The Lord Jesus Christ defeated him for us. And as I say that, Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 comes to my mind. And this is why we must meditate on the word of God. Even no matter what the situation is, even if it's been 100 years you have been and you have not seen physical report, result, keep putting pressure on the situation we do my word has no weight but the word of god i put in my mouth is like mounting pressure mounting pressure papa is saying here conscious i must be conscious you must be conscious to put the word of god in intentionally put the word of god in our mouth against the devil the defeated devil devil is a defeated foe jesus made a public spectacle of him and his cohort that's why I say Colossians chapter 1, Colossians chapter 2, 15. And it says now, however, the authority of the believer is an aspect of the Christian work that few believers know much about. Some think that authority over the devil belongs only to few chosen people to whom God has given special power. No. You're a believer. You have given your life to Jesus. This power, be, you know, this authority now, authority, Authority is a delegated power. Baba give example here about how when a policeman is wearing a uniform, it doesn't matter whether the police, the skin color of the policeman, it doesn't matter whether it's a male or female, it doesn't matter the height, it doesn't matter the weight. As far as the policeman is wearing that uniform and is on that, um, um has to, to, you know, has to be in charge of the traffic, right? Wait, let's, when the light is not working out, there's a policeman there. The policeman is a man giving authority with a delegated authority by the government. It could, whether it's the city or the state, anybody, every body in that traffic must obey. Must if the policeman you're driving, the policeman stop you, you will stop. Why? Because the policeman is. A delegated authority of the city of that state, right? So that's we we are the we are the, we have been the the G the, the um believers we have delegated authority we are authorities the authority we have that like God has given us authority. I think it's in Matthew 28. Jesus said, I give you I give you authority because all power has been given to him. So he is is he wants us to be aware that it's not for special people it's not oh um, the bishop the arch popes like my father in the law will say no it's not for old pastors or the fivefold ministries no it's not for ordained ministers only no it is for every believer that's why the book he named the believers authority are you a believer of god the satan has been defeated on your behalf and on my behalf and we must be conscious of it and we must remind ourselves you know that it's not for few special believers no it doesn't it belongs to all the children of god we receive this authority when we are born again i'm reading as we are made new creatures in christ jesus i think it's second corinthians 5 17 right and we inherit the name of the lord jesus and we can use it in prayer against the enemy the name of the lord jesus Actually, my pastor taught us this thing um, yesterday on what a life. In the name of the Lord. Don't add anything to it. God's name doesn't need any addictives. No. No. We don't have to add any. The name of Jesus. Say, in my name. So, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's Papa is saying to us. Now, 
pray the word of God in the name of Jesus. Say, but the devil doesn't want Christians to learn about the authority of the believer. He wants them to, to continue to defeat. He wants to continue to defeat us anytime.